So, so you still got it? Okay, yeah, I can, I can meet you over there. All right, I'll see you then. Thanks. All right, <laughs> I need to go. <laughs>all right so it is uh, about 20 minutes to nine on a monday night and i'm sitting in a home depot parking lot and of course i'm here for some type of computer deal now it's not very often that i'll get up and immediately go pursue something but uh, let me show you this ad that i saw on craigslist so as you can see there's a huge lot of commodore stuff now i was able to get in touch with the gentleman and he is the original owner of a commodore 128 uh, he's got two 128s. He had an extra one from uh, buying one for his son and uh, monitors, printers, disk drives, and he said a big box of software. He's not sure what all's in it, games. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, so I called up David. He's on his way over here and uh, I'm going to meet the gentleman here in a couple of minutes and uh, we'll see what we find. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go divvy it up. All right. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here and you can understand why I would just pack up my camera and hit the road because uh, this was just listed today and I knew if I didn't get it today, it would be gone. So uh, I was hoping uh, the gentleman being the original owner would tell us some stories uh, on camera about when he bought this, but uh, he wasn't comfortable being on camera, which is fine. Uh, really nice guy and, and uh, just amazing that we found all this stuff. <laughs> of course, I called David and he... He came down there and, and uh, after seeing the ad and, and, and met me and now we just got to go through it and see what works, what doesn't, what kind of software we have. I mean, we're just now unloading it on the table, so let's dive in. Yeah, it was definitely a good deal. I mean, many of these components here are worth, especially the, the Commodore 128s, are probably worth $100 in and of themselves individually and we've got two of them. And then some of these, like these 1571 disk drives, uh, they're probably worth 50 to 100 bucks a piece. and and these printers and you got a, an AMDEC monitor with uh, both the TTL CGA and composite on the back so that's a that's a rare find there too so this this was a steal I mean we uh, <laughs> we lucked out Smoke test. He wasn't working at all. More than likely, one of the CIA chips is burned out. Common problem. So that's good news. In the directory, I'm trying to load the game. Another advantage of the 1571 is it? 1989. It's actually got a volume. Uh, but yeah, most of what software does exist for the 128 is Geos and um, a lot of business software, word processors, terminal software. I mean, back in the 80s when I had a 128, about the only time I could ever boot into 128 mode was to um, use a, a ter an ANSI terminal to call like IBM and Amiga BBSs because you've got the 80 column display. Uh, and then um, 
to use geos for like word processing for school papers and stuff. And other than that, I was in 64 mode all the time. That's pretty much everybody else's experience. All right. Well, everything still works. This is easily our best find so far. This is really what computer hunting is all about.